It's another year, another Apple keynote, and another free update to OS X. The last version, Yosemite, added several important new features, but El Capitan can't quite step out of its shadow. Spotlight was one of my favorite features in Yosemite because it made searching for files a breeze. Apple has improved it further in OS X 10.11 with natural language search because you can now filter by typing in phrases as if you're asking an assistant. If you want to find documents from April, then just type documents from April and it will find exactly that. You can even add 2015 or some other year to sort of narrow the search. The feature isn't entirely seamless though because Spotlight's breadth of understanding is a bit slim. It's easy to accidentally ask something it's not going to recognize. Apple has also made changes to Windows management. Application windows and mission control don't stack like they used to, which makes it easier to find a specific window. That's great if you frequently open multiple documents with a single program. Uh, with that said though, the new mission control becomes very cluttered when you have many windows open. And it's not as easy to use on a low resolution Apple system like this MacBook Air as it is on a newer Retina machine. With El Capitan, the Mac has finally gained something like Windows Snap, but it's not as useful as it looked on stage. That's because it only works when two windows are in full screen view. I don't know about you, but I almost never use apps in full screen in OXX for obvious reasons. It just wastes space. Still, users can now take apps full screen by dragging them into your own virtual desktop and add apps to split view, which lets you change the size of each window just by moving the bar back and forth. There's also a number of minor changes to Apple's first party app suite. Notes is the most significantly revised as it's now capable of accepting media content from other applications such as images can be added just by dragging and dropping. Maps now has transit, although you can only use the transit directions in a limited number of cities such as San Francisco. And users can now pin their favorite websites to permanent Safari tabs. These extras are appreciated, but they have little impact on everyday use. It's hard to walk away from El Capitan without feeling a little bit disappointed. OS X is a wonderful operating system, but Windows 10's imminent release has given Microsoft some momentum, and the newest Mac OS does nothing to slow it down. It looks like 2015 is gonna be the year of Windows 10.